Ken, it's a delight to have you here. Uh, I talk with you all the time about being a baseball fan and listening to you on the radio when we're on the East Coast and you're doing Oakland on the West, and I sincerely mean that. I love it. You were good enough to write about Bill King, Kinger, the broadcaster for Oakland, the A's, the Raiders, basketball, forever an institution on the West Coast. And uh, you were kind enough to give me the book, and I've had a chance to read that. Tell us a bit about why and what you were trying to get from that book. Well, Gary, thanks for having me, by the way. Um, I just had this amazing experience as someone who grew up listening to Bill, literally, from the time that I heard him do the Warriors in the mid-60s, and I would turn, tune in the radio late at night through the static, because I grew up in L.A., and he was, of course, uh, back then the Warriors were the San Francisco Warriors, and I was just enthralled. Um, it was magic listening to Bill on the radio, and then, uh, of course, then he would he did the uh, the Raiders, as you know, and then in 1981, I'd moved to the Bay Area in '79, and then this uh, incredible pairing took place in '81 on the radio of Bill King and Lon Simmons, these two giants in the Bay Area. And nobody thought that could happen, and uh, so he was a huge influence on me. I was always fascinated by Bill because of his uniqueness, uh, obviously, and such a multifaceted guy, and then I got to work with him. So how many times do you have the chance to literally sit down with one of your idols? Yep. And then for 10 years, we were partners on the Ace Games, Gary. Um, he was so great to me. Every day was a thrill, an adventure in a way, yep. uh, because he was so unique. And uh, so that was the impetus behind writing the book. He was a renaissance man, yes. To put it mildly, I think. Um, he was a, a very diverse guy, and I think I wrote in the book, or it might have been at the eulogy after he passed away, that um, I thought all of his interests added a texture to his broadcast, because you knew that you were getting more than just a guy who was calling balls and strikes, or whether it was the NBA or the NFL, because um, he just had an incredible appetite for life in all aspects of life. And I, I think I've just joked, I said, if Bill was reading the morning paper, that was like the most important reading of the morning paper of all time. He just devoured the thing. And Bill King was someone who devoured life. And had a great sense of humor as well to go along with all of that, yes? Yes, it, yes. Unique. It was <laughs> unique, and he, was, he had a little um, temper to yes. him as well. And so he... He wore all of his passions on his sleeve. And um, interesting you mentioned that because as we're recording this, it's the day after Cinco de Mayo. And uh, Cinco de Mayo 2000 is when, and Bill hated doing games in Arlington. Um, and toward the end of his career, he almost refused to go there. And so the A's had a game on Cinco de Mayo in 2000 where they blew an eight-run lead. They lost to the Rangers 17-16. And some of the, like, the really lousy moments were great theater when you work with Bill because that's when he said that never in your wildest alcoholic dreams could you possibly conjure what had happened today and the A's had lost that game 17-16. <laughs> The, when you got done with the book and you look back now, because it's been a year or so uh, since it's been out, happy with what you did, what you got in there? I gave it my best shot. I really did. And, you know, Gary, it was intimidating. It was daunting to me because how do you capture Bill King? Um, so I was a little intimidated by that, but I, I did the best I could. And I had so much help on it because the thing, one of the things that really energized me was um, and this wasn't by design necessarily, but it turned into a little bit of a Bay Area sports history. And so when I would get off the phone or if I did an interview in person with someone like Rick Barry or John Madden or the, some of the great players from the A's era, um, I was just energized to write by that experience. Well, you did a great job. I love the book. I highly recommend it. Uh, even for those who may not have heard, uh, Kinger, you'll find this to be one of the extraordinary men who uh, has ever worked in our business. Ken, congratulations on the book, and thank you so much for doing this. Thank you, Gary. Thanks for having me.